Hi, I'm Sandra Haslam and I'm a breast cancer researcher. One in eight women can expect to develop breast cancer in her lifetime. It's Breast Cancer in the Environment Research Program. It's a conglomeration of groups that are doing studies in girls, uh, young girls as they go through puberty to see what their exposures are and how it affects when puberty happens in those girls. So they're looking at their diet, they're looking at various chemical exposures. Our special interest now is what, how does high fat diet impact the development of breast cancer. And what we focused on is looking at a high fat diet exposure in an animal model of puberty and then looking to see how it impacts on the development of cancers later in life. So we've been doing these studies and as I said, we have the very unexpected finding that animals that you put on this high fat diet, even if they don't get fat, they have a higher incidence of cancers that develop in this model system. So we've been very interested to try to understand how does this happen. One of the things that I think is important to recognize is that when you're young you don't think about what you do at, when you're very young that can have an impact later in life. So in, you know and you, when you're a teenager or whatever you're not thinking about getting breast cancer. But what we're finding out is that there are times when uh, women and girls are more susceptible to the environment that will then have a later impact, a negative impact. And puberty is one of those times. So, you know, what we would hope is that we can understand how to give good advice for healthy behaviors at those critical times and throughout life so that uh, it can help reduce the development of, of breast cancer. I think it's really important to eat a healthy diet and it's not just worry about obesity because the components of the diet can have a negative effect even if you don't get fat. You could have salad with some chicken. Chicken is fairly low in fat. You don't have to have a hamburger. Pizza is very high in, in butter fat because of the cheese. So cheese is another source of animal fat. So I guess one of the important things is to know what you're eating, to understand what you're eating, because then you can think about changing what you eat.